We're going to do our dot and right spelling for this week. And we need to remember the watch out vowels. The watch out vowels are E, I, and Y. And if we have a C that's followed by E, I, or Y, it will say it's soft sound. And if we have a G followed by E, I, or Y, it often will say it's soft sound, although not always. J. So let's practice with a few. Let's do the word advice. Ad vice. A d v i s. Okay, so we're going to do a d ad, and now we're going to do vice. So we're going to do v. I, and we have a sound at the end. Usually if we have a sound at the end, it's not gonna be an X by itself. In this case, we're practicing with C saying it's soft sound, so I know that's gonna be a C followed by an E. Advice. Okay. If you're not sure, whether it's going to be C or S, you can always look it up or use a spell checker. Let's try another one. Let's try the word replacing. Okay, how many syllables in replacing? Re place in. Let's start it. R E place P O A. In. Okay, I know this re is a prefix. It means back or again. And if I do the next one, it's going to be place. So it's P L A and then I'm going to do C followed by an E, place. And now I have a suffix. I have a spell suffix, I-N-G. And do you remember when we have a vowel suffix and a word ends in a silent E? What we do with that silent E? We drop it or remove it. So replacing, it's got R-E-P-L-A-C-I-N-G. Replacing. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do the word gigantic. Ready? Gi yan tick. G I yan g a n tick. T -i so first we do J, and it's going to be G, followed by an I, J. And then we're going to do GAN. We're going to have a G, and then an A, and then an N, J, GAN. And now we're going to do TICK. I, and I have a short vowel before a k sound in a multisyllable word. And when that happens, and I hear ik at the end, it's going to be ic. So we have gigantic. So you have some great words to work on to practice with soft g and soft c. So go ahead and work on those with your teacher and use your dot and write technique to help you with the spelling. If you're not sure whether a letter is going to be a C or an S, you can always use your spell checker to help you. So go ahead and work on those and I'm sure you'll do a great job.